Hey guys, myself I am Ignesh and welcome to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, you are going to see how to create a PostgreSQL instance and write data to the GCS cloud storage called Cloud Bucket in Google Cloud Platform. So without any further delay, let's get started. So we are seeing the main objective of today's video is how to create a PostgreSQL instance through G Cloud command line. So what is this G Cloud command line? Basically, it's a cloud SDK. So we'll be using this G Cloud to create a PostgreSQL instance. And then we will be focusing on how to create a database that is PostgreSQL database, how to create a table and insert values or data into this table. Everything will be taken everything will be done through cloud line cloud command line tool itself everything will be in postgresql so once after completing this we will be exporting the data so whatever we are creating inside the postgresql we will be exporting the data to gcs bucket that is also done through cloud command line tool so basically what are the services used for this objective the one is cloud sql the other one is gcs bucket so G cloud command line tool is basically as I said earlier, it's a cloud SDK command. So it will not come under the services use. I'll delete that. So these are the uh, commands how to create a PostgreSQL instance, how to create a database and upload the data into PostgreSQL instance and how to export data from PostgreSQL to GCS bucket and some of the useful resources, everything, all this thing you can find in the GitHub link. So basically I'll give that GitHub link in the description box. You can take it from there. So now we can see how to implement this in practically. So go to your Google Cloud Platform, Google Cloud Console. This is my Google Cloud Console and the project is Data Lab. So this is the project I've been using for this uh, uh, video. And then now click on the Activate Cloud Shell. So this is where we'll be using G Cloud Command Line Tool. So to use that G Cloud Command Line Tool, you have to click on Activate the Cloud Shell. So let it load. I'll show you the other things. So this is the SQL service provided by Google Cloud Platform. There are basically three types of database engine. One is MySQL. The other one is PostgreSQL. The third one is SQL Server. So I'll be using um, PostgreSQL for this video. So everything I'll be showing it using uh, uh, G Cloud command line tool. I'll not uh, create an instance from the UA page. So this is how the instances will be see what type of uh, uh, database server it is. So I have already created it, but now we will be creating a new one. And before all these things, you should make sure to enable this Cloud SQL API. So how to go into this? Basically, you can go into API and marketplace. Uh, click on this navigation menu and search for uh, API, API and services and go to dashboard and search for cloud sql so it is loading for me so you can go and you can search uh, sql api and then you can find it like it is loading for me so yeah so you can click on this cloud sql api i have already enabled it so it is in this end. if you are not enabled you can see an enable option you have to click on it so now, so you can see uh, now my G cloud, uh, like basically a cloud shell is got uh, open. So get the first command on this command will get uh, create a post SQL instance. So copy this and paste this in a notepad. I'll be pasting this in my notepad and then I'll take it from notepad to there. So G cloud SQL instance create. Uh, we I'm creating my PostgreSQL and remove this to command and it's a database version is PostgreSQL and CPU you can add this or you can delete it by default it will use it so memory is 7680 MB and region is uh, um, US Central so copy this command and paste it in G command line tool like cloud shell so my database uh, instance name is my PostGRE so this is my instant name and the region is US Central. The database version is PostgreSQL underscore 12. So there are other versions like 11, 13. So I'm 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 going with PostgreSQL 12. So click enter on it. It will ask for authorized cloud shell, and it is loading it. 
so um, let the command load it will take some time it will take around three to four or uh, three to five minutes i'll pass the video and come once after this step has been processed so if you can see my instance has created we can cross check this in the actual instance of sql database so you have to refresh this and we can see whether that our instance name like our instance name here is my post uh, is created or not so if you see uh, our instance name is created now the next thing is we have to set password for our uh, uh, instance created to set password we have to copy this command basically g cloud sql users set password that your instant name is post zeros and inst g cloud sql users set password post zeros instant name is my post zero like this is post zeros is actual command name and the password is this so i'm setting password for the uh, instance created now so my password is demo gcp01 so to search the link so if you see the error is like g cloud unrecognized arguments my post if you see here there is a gap between this equal equal to you have to remove that gap first then it will work so basically whenever you use this g cloud command try to remember this point so there should be no gap between the instance equal to and then there should be no gap it should be the word if you give this the command will get executed see this will not throw error now so like it has been updated we have created a password to our uh, sql uh, post sql instance creator now we have to go and at the cool like we have to set user for our post sql so to set the uh, username for our post sql so collect g cloud sql connect my instance name again user is post is my instance uh, username so copy this command and place it over here so um, like this is the username post zeros if, if you like once after this command is getting executed we can see uh, we can see our user getting created in that instance post zeros here it will ask for password so uh, we will wait for it by the time i'll walk you through the next steps so after that you have to enter the password and uh, sql promotes appears like when sql uh, promos appears for asking password you have to give the password and then um, like um, instance is getting cre instance got created so the next step will be creating a database and uploading the data so i'm creating a database named demo database and i'm connecting to the database using this command slash connect demo database so in now i'm inserting a creating a table called entries with guest name and content and insert into entries guest name content values first guess i got here guest name content value second guess me too these are the values and this is my table name and i'm setting value state and then to retrieve the data we'll be using select star from entries so now you should give the command password name my password is demo gcp01 so now our uh, uh, we are into our post sql instance to cross check this we have to go there we have we refresh this once and we can see our username uh getting popped up inside the instance which we created just now our username is post zero cs and you can see it here so my post is equals and inside database you can see other things so name post zero cs so this is our username now we will be working on creating the database so to create a database we have to create create database demo database demo database is our database name so database got created and we will be connecting to our database again while password we have to see demo gcp01 and click enter on it so we are connected to our demo database as user post series this is the username and this is the database now we will be creating table uh, creating table with two column name one is uh, guest name the other one is content so entry id serial that is not required for now so we are not concerned about those things and just click on enter and there is a error insert into entries so i'll execute like this first in case like create table uh, table got created and then 
I'll be inserting this value first and followed by the next value. So insert has been done. I'll work on this. I'll copy this and paste it here. So insert has been done on the both side. Like both two values have been insert in inserted. Now we will see the total values. Select start from. So uh, table got created. Table name is entries and guest name content and entry ID is primary key. So as I said earlier, entry ID is the primary key for us. It's a serial ID. So one, two, and if we add other more values, we can see uh, it will be next three. We can see three on it. So to, to cross check, we can do that also once. Guest name is, uh, third guest, me, not me. So this is the third instance I'm trying to insert in. So select star from entries. So there are three rows and the entry ID is a primary key. So it will get instant. It's an um, serial. So everything is got created. Now, once this step is done, we will be um, focusing on exporting the data. The three rows which we created, we will be exporting the data from Postgres equal to GCS bucket. So first create a cloud storage bucket. Go to our instance and work on cloud bucket. Search for bucket that you can see cloud storage and inside cloud storage. There is one bucket already created. So oh, there is no bucket created. So we will create a bucket here and this bucket is unique across the project so i'll create um, create my bucket name as demo bucket 01 and rest everything the bucket name is already taken right now. demo 01 mm, what is this post jiri sql demo So rest everything be constant. I'm directly clicking on creating the demo bucket. So once that is created and then find the service. Uh, this point is very important. Please focus on this. Find the service account for the Cloud SQL instance you are exporting from. So basically you should find the instance. Um, you should find the service account email address of that cloud SQL instance and then you should add this cloud SQL instance in GCS bucket. So to find that cloud uh, service account email address, copy this, paste it here, uh, replace the instance name with uh, the actual instance name. This is the actual instance name which we created. So copy this and go to this command. So come out of this bucket. So if you see, I'm out of the database. So now I'll click on this G cloud instant describe my position. And if you click on it, you can find many details in it and you should get the service account email address. You should copy the service account email address and go to this bucket. So basically you have, you are in this bucket. Suppose there is SQL demo is the bucket which you created now. Click on it and then permission go to here and in principles permission add under select role go to cloud storage and search for storage object admin and click on save. So once this is done. Uh, you will be able to move data from GCS uh, Postgres equal to GCS bucket. <coughs> so to export the database, use this command: gcloud SQL export. We are exporting uh, the data in the Postgres SQL in the form of CSV. We can do it as a uh, SQL dump also. For now, we are using uh, CSV format, instance name and bucket name and file name and database. Database name is in our case it is demo database and the query. So I have already copied it here and instance name is oh, my pose is, is the instance name. So I have created this GCS bucket name. So my bucket name is pose is equal demo. So re replace it with pose is equal and 
data dot csv and database name is demo database copy this demo database and replace the query so select star from entries totally we have three records and we have to see the three records there so copy this command and again paste it in the gcloud command itself okay. entries click on enter it will take some time so i'll pass this video for now once the data is uploaded i'll resume that video and explain you further yeah it got exported successfully if you can see i got the uh, successful message exported so exported message to gs positional data.csv so exported from here to this location to cross check this we can go to my gcs bucket you can refresh once and open this and you can find the data.csv file so to open we we have to open that data.csv file we can open that and check once so what are the data we have totally created three rows uh, so i can see all the three rows here first guest i got here one two three so all the three rows are uh, we are able to see it so yeah i am like i have completed it you can find uh, more resources uh, you can find more things on this uh, resources page i have given basically the links to all this from the sql official google cloud documentation so that's it for today's video hope you learned something new please do like comment and if you have if you have any questions please drop that in the comment section i'll try to answer it as soon as possible and share and subscribe it to share it with your friends and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and please don't forget to click on the bell icon so that's it until then it's bye from Vignesh. i'll